So you can see here on the right hand side we have one lake and on the left hand side we have another one big lake. So this is a canal connecting the two lakes, they are actually connecting uh, Nikolaiki and uh, Gizitsko. Very nice. People use it every day. You can see the boats. Nice. Nice Arthur. Let's move on. Nice house. Wow, the lake on the right hand side. I'm so glad to see this lake and this uh, countryside. Real Poland. Love it. There are so many roads like this. Just dirt road, but very smooth, very nice, and uh, they're free. So you can come here and test your big fatty GS and enjoy the freedom of riding not on the road. The second lake is somewhere there. I can see it on the GPS, so we're gonna see it after a while. So here we go. We're already at the edge. You can see it now on the GPS, on the left side. On the left side is the lake. This guys is such a nice and pleasant road to ride. Right in the forest, very smooth, excellent. So this is actually the, the castle, which is converted to the hotel now, I guess. So a big part of the castle is converted to hotel. Yes. Nice. And there is a nice restaurant, and there is a swimming pool under uh, the... Um, Underneath? Okay. Pavement. Okay. So this is the main hall, main zone. Probably they were dancing here many years ago. Very nice. So Arthur brought me to a museum, museum actually of uh, Mazurian history or something like that. All the stuff they've got during the years. You can see all these belts, interesting stuff. Uh -huh. so it's just to represent how the people are living the lifestyle at that, at that time. Actually, it looks very similar to my grandmother and grandfather house. All of these tools and everything. Come down.
This is actually German ammunition. German ammunition here, huh? Yes. Radio station. Everything is uh, German. Yeah, machine guns, just rifles. Helmets. And boots. Till 45, it was uh, all the Rhine and German. Yes, 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 the territory no. was German, yes. Until 1945, yes. Oh, this is the fridge. The fridge? Yeah. Fridge with isolation. This is a place for uh, ice, uh -huh. and this is for uh, products. Nice. So it was really interesting to see all of this history because once in a while all of this was a, a former Prussia territory but unfortunately the lady did not let me to make a video inside. I made something secretly but I cannot make properly everything. There were big billboards from the Nazis time with the swastics and so on but anyway I cannot show it to you. It uh, was uh, just a nice, another one nice stop on my trip. The bunker was destroyed in 1945, just a few days before Russians came here. They really want to destroy everything to not let them enter. It was very modern, it has uh, this uh, ventilation system with filters. It is actually isolated inside so they can survive big bombs, chemical attacks, everything. So actually he is a coll collector and he has these German dishes mm -hmm. with the SS logo. No, it isn't SS, it is uh, uh, Wehrmacht. Wehrmacht, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, SS was uh, two arrows, yeah. Very interesting collection. Uh, this, this one is, I, I have in my house over 100. So these ruins here, guys, are exactly where Graf von Stauffenberg tried to kill Hitler with the bomb. And it was actually a conference room and uh, the reason to move here, not in the bunker, was because it was too hot and uh, the bunker had some kind of construction works. This is a small memorial about Graf von Stauffenberg, exactly where the, the ruins of the conference room were. So this is the bunker of the guests of Hitler. So even uh, Bulgarian king Boris was met here during that time. So much concrete, so much concrete, guys. It was seven meters, eight meters wall. It was absolutely bulletproof from any kind of uh, bombs. To explore, to bomb all of this, to blow up all of this, actually they uh, used six to ten tons of uh, TNT. And it was so huge explosion that actually this wall moved about six meters from there and the roof collapsed underneath. They really want to destroy everything. This building is uh, one of the many buildings of the Hitler's administration. Actually, the, the one in which uh, Graf Stauffenberg tried to kill him was very similar as this, with windows. That's why he cannot kill him, because the pressure from the explosion just go, went out from the windows. And that's why he survived. If the explosion was made in, in the bunker, he'll be killed. This is Bormann's bunker. So all of the top officers, every one of the top officers got a, a personal bunker. You can see how Bormann's bunker looks after the explosion. And you can see how thick the wall is. And this is outside wall. And there is another one inside wall. And this is the biggest bunker now. This is the Hitler's bunker. It's huge. The rear side is completely destroyed. And uh, here on the right hand side was uh, his kitchen. And he has also on the, on the left hand side uh, a living area 
where he stay most of the time. You can see how this big heavy walls crack it after the explosion. You can see what kind of hole they moved. It was a huge explosion. Look at this. The roof after the explosion it collapsed and this is the insulation on the roof just to stop the water to go inside. And this is how the bunker looks like now. Completely destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. And this is Göring's bunker after the explosion. So this is a simple corridor for the soldiers to go up to observation room. So this is what is left. So here we can see the how the, the bunker was constructed. Constructed was a double wall, one on the outside and one inside, and between the walls was a gravel filled with gravel just to absorb the, the shock wave. And uh, here we can see this wall was there, just supporting the roof. And we have also uh, two roofs, very solid, very solid German technology. So from this point you can see the construction, it's like one bunker inside of the another bunker. This is a really beautiful church. Beautiful. The name of this church is uh, Schwenta Lipka, which is mean something like the Holy Linden. And the history said that it was a linden tree here, which one was blessed and some people saw a Holy Maria or something like that, I don't know. Wow! Wow! Inside, there isn't allowed to use camera. Okay, okay. Wow! Wow, it's really impressive. Doesn't matter how many churches you will see or cathedrals, every time it's really impressive. Oh, there is the tree with the Holy Maria on the top, and there is a very famous organ here. Which one is located there on the back? All of these pipes, and it's gonna ring now after a few minutes. This is what we're waiting for. And look at the ceiling.
guys, I have to confess, I am not a religion person, but from the art point of view, this church is just a miracle. I am glad I have seen it. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> You're welcome. Another one beautiful castle. Actually, guys, here in this area, every 20 or 30 kilometers, it's a big castle. So actually they have a big exhibition of uh, all of these instruments for torture. So this is the witch's chair. You can see how they cuff them here with all of this stuff, all of these niles. Another one of these comfortable chairs. Let's move to the tower. Nothing to see about this. So I said earlier, in this castle is the large exhibition of instruments or tools for torching. So this is the best view. You can see the church there. And we ate pizza in this nice restaurant, it was really delicious and very cheap and now we're gonna move to see a few more things and we're done for today. It was just an amazing day, amazing day, so many things. Thanks to Arthur. My chain is in really bad condition now, you can see I already tied it, I don't know how many times it is completely worn out, I'll tight it again and I hope it will survive until Berlin. Okay, I'm done. It took me about 15 minutes and I even put some oil in my in my engine because the engine starts to use oil already. When I ride a little faster, when I twist the throttle a little bit more, it's burn some oil. But anyway, I have more about 700 kilometers, so it will survive. Oh, the chain is much better now. Before that, it was making this crazy sounds like chat, 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 chat all the time. Now it's much better. And we 
there guys in one very interesting place so there is a connection between two lakes two big lakes on the north and south part of uh, Missouria and the Nazis built this big huge schluss or or place where exactly they can use the drop the level of the water and move to the next next level so it's a Nazi project you can see the the logo of the Wehrmacht was sitting on the top not anymore but I don't know how many tons of concrete they used and they want just to build this three four meters and connect the two lakes so a very interesting place this for you. I will risk my life for you. <laughs> it's a very funny experience. Yeah, it's really moving and because I need one hand it's a really interesting. But anyway. to secure myself yeah okay and I go first okay. then you okay okay good can you hold this yes Wow, look at how big it is. <laughs> yeah. So this is what, you just go like this? Yes, something like a big swing. Ah, okay. <laughs> when she jumped, you see. <laughs> uh, She's about to do it. Yeah, maybe. Look at how big it is. Thing. Was nice. Was really nice. So we are going to another one. World War, Second World War bunker. So how it looks like. It was something like a headquarter of the German division here. Listen to this noise, like the air attack, air aviation attack. Look at the ceiling. Stalactite. Oh. The Führer. Nothing there. was interesting so this is a copy of V2 rockets huh? 
And what is this? Some kind of experimental projects? How the submarine looks like? Torpedo area. Uh, here's the whole simulation of the battlefield. You see all of these Russian tanks. And then the German tanks on the opposite side. Interesting. And the planes. Few more steps, few more steps. We're going up to 38 meters. Look at the birds. Spectacular view around the forest. And this is me. And Arthur. <laughs> and me. Hello. And there is Peace. <laughs> Peace. And uh, Gijitsko is there. Huh? It's far away, 50 kilometers from, from this point. So guys, I had such a long and interesting day. It is already 7 o'clock in the evening. I cannot really understand when it became 7. We spent all day to so many different places. And the time went just like that. I am so happy that I came here and big thank you to my friend Arthur because without him it's not possible. We stop for a while because look at this amazing view. About moments like this we are riding. Look at this. The sunset, the bikes, the lake. Fantastic. So we came to Gijitsko. Now we're gonna eat fish soup here. And then uh, I have to go to bed because tomorrow is going to be a long day. I still have this 700 kilometers to Berlin. But, guys, I had an excellent time here, excellent time. I really enjoyed every single minute. I'm so happy. <laughs>